In Photoshop, when you're using Photoshop, you might decide, I really would love a certain amount of commands to be on a particular panel. Now, you can't actually move them around, of course. You can customise it to a degree, but if you want to create your own unique panel, say you want to put all the define commands on a particular panel, you can use the Adobe Configurator tool 2.0. Find a copy of it, it's beta copy at the moment, on labs.adobe.com. Now, just going to just fire it up, click create panel, and as soon as you do that, you get a panel design here, just to, you can resize it, and you can of course give it a name, and just going to call it test, and you get a selection of various tools, commands, I'm just going to quickly show you the commands, main, all the various things you see in Photoshop, standard Photoshop commands, like, so you've got file, new, so, so you want to, one of the things I like doing quite often is defining a pattern or brush. Now, instead of just going to the menu all the time, I can just actually drag that over onto the panel, define brush preset, define pattern, define custom shape. Now, that's a basic set of things, but of course I can create many more than that if I want. I can actually go to the widgets. You can actually add various design elements to it, HTML, spacer, pop-ups, tabs, containers for those. I'm just going to quickly show you. It's quite nice that you can do a tab navigator, so you can actually create a quick tab. I won't actually use these ones with the tab, but you can just drag it over and just add a tab to the design. Right, now I've done that, now I've done the define, I could actually quickly show you the tab option. I'm just going to just drag it over. So custom shape, and I'm just going to add another tab. Tab 2, click OK, and I'm just going to drag the pattern over to that. So you just go backwards and forwards between the two. And now you can go to the file, and I can export the panel. Of course, I could have added a few more things and changed a few more things at that point, but export the panel, and it asks you for where the panels folder is. If you're wondering why, you see a panels folder folder there so click that so and I'm just going to save it click OK it's been exported now test has been exported to the panels click OK get rid of that and quickly fire up Photoshop it's through Photoshop does all the reading preferences etc so now you can, you can use this uh, in CS5, but there is also Adobe Configurator version 1, which can be used with CS4. So that's available also on the labs.adobe.com site. Now I'm just going to go to the File New, just create a quick File New, and now go to the Window, Extensions, voila, Test. I actually created one earlier, a defined one, but I'm just going to create Test, and that mysteriously turns up and now you've got a tab and tab 2. So I'll quickly show you you can actually use them. Of course you need a brush so I'm just going to create a quick design for it to select. So I'm just going to select something there. Define brush preset. Click that and it will come up with the define the brush and define custom shape. Obviously can't use that point. But define pattern I can. Click there. Do that and if I get rid of that I'll just quickly create a pattern select that there's a quick pattern of uh, the custom shape and I can go to the define custom shape because I've got a vector layer there and define custom shape and it now will come up with a dialogue okay very, a very useful tool like I say you can obviously add virtually all the commands and various widgets and things to a panel and you of course can create multiple panels and also save them and maybe share them with other people as well if you've created really interesting designs for panels.